But you know how that to go now. Look on the Kalaluya. Those right there are Sorrel. I wasn't expecting this and I've never seen this at all in my life growing or seeing this just in general. I've been waiting on for a very long time. You know what I mean? And it's an island. Well I'm vibing. Yeah. It's an island. Boy. Wah guan, wah guan. Welcome back to Island Boy Africa channel. Yes, I am peeps. So it's another Monday morning. After work, riding my bike, as the Aziz would as the Aziz would call it, pushy. Yeah. So a beautiful morning. Yes, man. You have some morning look really dark like visually you guys wouldn't be able to see while you have morning like this going to work and it look clear as anything here yeah so this uh, all of the car on my route out someone someone mentioned in the comments recently that I plant the car too close that's why um, they could have even been bigger so I'll take that in consideration next come me still have some seed that me go put in you know from the pot that I bought and yeah so I'll take that in consideration to at least space them out a bit you know it's just because the space that i'm using as you guys can see it's quite small so um i do plan to, to um extend it though i just haven't got the time yet you know sometime come home from work and not really feel the energy but as soon as me get the energy there i'm gonna deal with it you know me have some days off from work you know so i can get it done you know is me so yeah that is that um the car and them did lovely anyway first produce for proud of that you know what I mean but they got to go so we are gonna put in clean out them little grass here and put in back some more and I want to show you this look at look under Kalaloo yeah look at this Kalaloo see that beautiful don't yeah man big and fluffy so we have some more over there so as well so the farm still a going is me yeah man and every day almost every day yeah wait wait and every day may have okra people well almost every day you know two to three day okra straight yeah man so right now we have a portion of the fridge and we still have more than the tree them up forward like non-stop so bro i'm a little farm man i swear oh yeah I forgot to mention i also saw some so some sorrel so these are sorrel yeah man sorrel tree are followed up you know me have a few more over there so the thing is that i completely forgot i completely forgot to um sow them when spring started you know i didn't even remember that i had sorrel seed so it's just recently i remembered and i'm like shit, you know so plant them anyway yeah, today is the 24th of December, you know what I mean, and um, a little gathering I go on a little more, you know, Babes family and thing I found and, you know, cooking and thing like that I go on, isn't it? So, that is that for the day, it's been raining last night, so, you know, the place cloud you and we, yeah man, but that is that, so stick around, you know, I'll roll in some, some clips of 
the sorrel and what I've been doing in the farm recently. See? Let's go now. I'm going to plant two of them and see how them come. You see me? Yeah, man. So, I'm going to try it out. And these are from the corn. We may have left over from them time there. And also the CMB in them. We may have left over. So I'm gonna put in a few more because you know them three I uh, can't tell them I'm gonna go after a while and the can them you know still have a few more for it so I just uh, put in back some more you know so I always have the little Jamaica uh, go on isn't me so let's do this a yard man you know me have to find my product them yeah man it's a good old sorrel should have planted them long time ago before Christmas but as I said guys I didn't remember a thing so put two of the seed them here so I put two or three put three of them slightly cover them up Let me just jam a stick right here so I know exactly. If you guys can see this properly, those right there are sorrel. Yeah, man, so I have some sorrel that come up. You see it, so put in something new again and see how them fall up. Just removing these corn and put in some fresh one again, you see it. Yeah, man. What you all got to go now? That is the can right there. Yeah, all reaped and done. Here we go my peeps Another root I saw this are the rest of the sorrel I should have put in everything together but I wasn't sure what I was doing and because of the space as I said I haven't got the time yet to really extend this place yet so I can't really put in everything at once so I did have to replace it with the condom but I said you know what put in some sorrel you know and try them because everything right now is just a test so we are going to test out everything isn't it yeah man, so I'm going to put in the rest of sorrel in this and, and try Yeah, before winter start again, you know Right now, it's about to rain Big time I'll be a thunder I roll and the rain a drizzle so I just got to throw them in When them all forward up I just really um, interesting that my planting tree is doing I wasn't expecting this and I've never seen this at all in my life growing or seeing this just in general you know what I mean guys can you explain this to me have you ever seen a planting tree of two sucker already and this tree not even reach my, my knee height have you ever seen this before? Because I'm, I'm actually shocked. You know what I mean? The only thing I can think of is it that this tree is a dwarf planting. 
you know when i was buying it in where was it again i don't remember um yeah but when i was buying it um the guy didn't say that it was a dwarf or what is it so i'm really puzzled two sucker can you believe that the tree not reached nowhere yet look on this tree i will just start show up sucker and look at the length of it banana these are the bananas right so explain to me if you guys have any knowledge of this explain to me is it because it's a dwarf tree why it's already pushing up sucker i don't understand but yeah you can't believe it peeps tree didn't even reach me me i pleasure <laughs> you know i look for my little source of tree What's on the paper? It's just some ashes, which are up on the leaves. Yeah, man. And this is a paper tree, yeah? You want to see? I'll go under here, too. Watch out. Big. Paper, paper. As you all can see, Papa tree, them are shoot up fast. See that? Now, four about these in winter, they go right through winter. I have a dwarf bean coming up again. Dwarf bean right there. So, replacing these ones before them actually go, you know. We still have some pantry the same way. Right now, I have something very exciting to show you all. I just come out for water the plants and I see something that I've been waiting on for a very long time. You know what I mean? And just take a look at this. Right. If you can see clearly. Can you see that right there? Can you see that? Do you know what that is? <laughs> That's literally a banana shoot, my peeps. Are you seeing this right you now? You would even know how long I've been waiting on this. You wouldn't even know. This is, um, I think, the first thing I planted here, or one of the first things I planted here. When I just came to Australia, I wanted a banana tree so badly. You know what I mean? I searched everywhere. I searched everywhere, couldn't find one. Used to pass on the roadside and see this tree where um, I said that I was gonna um, root it up and bring it to home because it was just on the roadside and the tree did look droopy, but I didn't get the tree um, at that time and went to a um, brother in law um, place and get a banana tree. And months later, this is the result. You guys see the root already? You guys see the root already? Holy up a banana tree today. And me can't believe you, you think a little time I come out here just a look on the tree, just a wait for see some something just shoot up and I cannot believe it, yo. I feel so good right now. You would even know how much that means to me. You know what I mean? Coming from where I come from you know, my grow a country. Is me love my green banana, wild banana and all them things there, see me? And coming here to Australia. It's just pure ripe banana. The only time when we get green banana is when you go to the Gold Coast, you know, where it's more accessible to get that. You get me, I say? And yeah, here in Casino, just ripe banana you're getting on the shelves. You see me? Because I guess people, there's not enough demand of people wanting green banana to cook. And I guess it's not so much of a thing here as to, you know, unless it's like the Highlanders, you know, eat those foods or the Africans. But um, I would I would think that 
most as it's don't cook banana like that you see me so to see this i feel really really good really really good yes man <laughs> yo me so me excited afraid judge my first banana shoot 